Ping Pong, the animation is one of my favorite animes of all time. It's in my favorites on Mal, I gave it a 10 out of 10. I even made a whole video about it. I do, however, have one problem with it, and it has to do with the ending of the show. Specifically, the fact that Peko won the final tournament even though he only started training a few months before, and he also overtrained and injured his knee. So let me explain myself. Now symbolically it makes perfect sense. One of the main messages of ping pong is the elements of a perfect athlete. And Peko is that perfect athlete, whereas the other guys lack one or two things. Kazuma lacks passion, Sakuma lacks talent, Kong lacks conviction, and Smile lacks competitiveness, as well as support. Peko starts off lacking sportsmanship, you know, he's afraid of losing, he stops noobs to boost his ego, but midway through the show, he gets over it, you know, starts from the beginning, and becomes the perfect athlete. That's why he beats everyone else. But then why is the perfect athlete able to beat them? Well, it's because he can enter the state of flow better than everyone else. And I talked about it in my last video, but the key point to being in the ultimate state of flow is to be truly in the moment. And how can you do that if you have any reservations about your ping pong, you know, your craft? For example, Kazuma. Even if during the match he isn't actively thinking about the immense pressure that he has on his shoulders from his family and whatnot, it's still there in the back of his mind, his subconscious. And that is supposed to be reflected in his game, being emotional, getting tilted, or whatever. Peko starts off having this problem as well. He only truly enters the zone in the middle of his match against Kazuma when he stops thinking about his moves as well as his injury. He stops doing a sort of play-by-play -play narration and just plays. So you could argue that the injury is not actually a physical one, but a psychological one, which is what I personally believe, since this alludes to the idea that the hero does not have any weaknesses. But that is the symbolic view. What if you look at it through a more realistic lens? Well, I think the first thing we should talk about is the fact that Peko was only training for four to six months. I, I'm guessing, I might be wrong, but the point is Peko spent way less time training compared to Kazuma, who trained all his life, Kong, who also trained his whole life, Smile, who trained hard for a year, and despite all that, Peko still won. Also, it's important to remember that prior to Peko's hard training, he hit rock bottom. He didn't train at all, he was eating junk food, and even before that, before the first tournament, he wasn't even in shape. He wasn't taking ping pong seriously. This is why he lost to Sakuma, right? Because he was out of shape. And you're telling me that with four months of training, he's in good shape? You know, beating everyone else? To me, this sends the message that talented people can just cram it all in at the end and still turn out successful, which could definitely be true in the real world, but I don't think that's in line with Ping Pong's message. It just, it just leaves a bad taste. The second point is the fact that Peko overtrains and gets an injury to his knee. Now, personally, I believe that the final missing component of an athlete that wasn't mentioned in Ping Pong is moderation, so you don't get injured or burnt out like Kazuma. Peko, overcoming his injury through a hot-blooded shonen act, kind of annoys me because it, it just undermines the importance of having an injury in sports. It was definitely a ridiculous thing for me the first time watching the show, especially because at the time, I didn't really get all the metaphors and, you know, symbolism. So those are my two problems, but is there a solution? How would I fix the ending? Well, I think the ending is actually fine as is, because Peko is the hero and the hero has to win. I can definitely look past these things and still give this show a 10 out of 10 because the symbolic message is just too good. However, if I had to make a change, I would put the match between Peko and Smile in the semifinals. So Peko still needs to beat Kong, Kazuma, and Smile to complete their character arcs, but don't give him the W, you know, don't let him win. Make him lose in the finals against the Kaio Goon. He needs to be punished for overtraining. 
And then the guy who won wouldn't feel good about the win since it was a no contest. I think this would add a nice tinge of realism. Although it wouldn't really be a Yuasa ending. So honestly, I wouldn't change the ending at all, even though I do have problems with it. I don't mind, it's like a harmless tumor, you know, like a rash on your heel. You know it's not itchy anymore, and no one's looking at your feet, so why, why should you even buy the $10 antifungal cream? You know, just, you just let it be. And yeah, that's it. You know, th thanks for watching my video. Tell me your thoughts on the ending in the comments. I'm still working on that Ultra Heaven video, it's coming soon, and uh, yeah, see you later, thank you.